tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur. The second son of Odin, he was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him, only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. 
Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. You can feel me. You need the runes to find Dillian. You need Dillian. He's waiting for you. He always said you would He he's close. He cares about you. You can feel he's close. Open the gate. She can't. Open the gate. It's locked. Try harder. She can't. The gate. She can't. <laughs> she can't. She will. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not safe. Dillian. There he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go through the before he disappears. Dillian, don't lose him. He's slipped away too many times. You always let him disappear. Dillian, there he is. Quick. He's not here. She's in the wrong world. He's needed in this world. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. He's in the dark world. The dark. The dark world. The world once seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the gloom. Senna explored new paths into the unknown. You can't. Dillian saved her. You owe your life to Dillian. You owe everything to him. He saw who she could be. He saw who she really was. He saw the warrior within.
thought she had light within her. She is pure darkness. He believed in you. You have no chance of life. Nobody will love you again. Ever, ever again. He was the only one she could trust. Could she trust him? Dillian saved you. Dillian cared for her like no one else has. Dillian's the only reason she's still alive. You got it. Why isn't he here? He's gone. He's in the dark world. He's gone to the dark world. You're in the wrong world. He's in the other world. The dark world. Without you. The gods feast and rejoice, and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman, and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear.
You are guilty. You will always be guilty. Was it worth it? Nobody will love her now. Can you remember what love feels like? Look what happens Best to the thing she loves. She destroys the thing she loves. You kill the things you love with your curse. You kill. 
kill the things that are most precious to you. Dillian didn't deserve this. Nobody will love him. The curse is strangling you just like it strangled him. Dillian doesn't know who killed him, but we do. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mist. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Huth is slain.
led you astray. You should have listened to your father when you had the chance. Why didn't you listen to him? This love has tortured you, and it tortures them. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. He believed in you. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Years had passed since she left her father. You have no chance. She trained hard no alongside her friend. Ever, ever again. Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her past. And Dillian. A future. Two realities tearing at her soul. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur, weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giant edge they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. Cannot be undone. You have no chance. You have no time for this. Speak up. It's all part of their game. They set you trials to distract you. They set you up and now they're going to watch you. What if these trials mean nothing? Darkness within you. Laughing at you. What if they take you no closer to the with 
your love because he believed in you. within her when she left the room. She is pure darkness. The Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf, and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. A reminder, perhaps, that if even gods must accept death, then so must we. Dillian saved her. You owe your life to Dillian. You owe everything to him. What if this is pointless? What are you doing? Why did you think you could make this work? You keep seeing 
runes. You see runes everywhere. Everywhere. But what if they're not real? What if they don't actually make sense? They're a trick. The gods were lying. If you think it makes sense, but really the gods are playing with you. It makes sense in your mind, but it doesn't make sense in the real world. The gods are lying. But it doesn't mean anything. No, you can't. There's no way which you don't understand. Sin bounds. Dillian never much cared for the underworld, and looked dimly upon the druids, like her father, Zenbao. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see, and he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, had to see the world through his eyes, slowly. The darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. Your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? Would you give up the beautiful world? You, and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares? Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my head. Just another part of the person I love. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. It's done. You did it, but there's more. There's more. You're tired, but you have to keep going. There's still more. There's always more to do. It's not going to be easy. 